Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to CoasterNet Update. We've got some breaking news out of Cedar Fair this evening, where Cedar Fair has officially come to terms with Schlitterbahn to purchase outright two of the parks, uh, the most well-known Schlitterbahn in New Braunfels, and uh, the secondary park, maybe, if you will, uh, in Galveston, Texas, both of the parks in Texas, they do have an option to purchase the Kansas City one, although uh, there's some things that have to happen there first with the current leaseholders and all that uh, for that to occur. The question is, right. will they? I don't know. But we do know for sure, Danny, uh, that they are purchasing those two parks um, and, and, and they're going to be running them. Now, uh, the old owners are going to still keep control over the... Um, oh, not the Corpus Christi. That's owned by a separate company. So uh, Schlitterbahn Corpus Christi is going to rebrand, still be held by that company, which is kind of like on a resort type yeah. thing. And then the other one, with his, which is South Padre Island. Uh, yeah, South Padre Island. Yeah. Thank you. So uh, the family is going to keep that one. Now, Danny, uh, this should come as real no surprise here that, uh, this, that uh, the old owners – uh, had a ton of trouble, uh, obviously, after the death in Kansas City. Um, you know, it's funny, we were going to do a special show uh, for our patrons only uh, to talk about the Kansas City Park, which uh, is not open at all for this season. Uh, they, they were not offering ticket sales uh, in May. Uh, it usually opens over Memorial Day, did not open then. Um, and so the Kansas City Park was not opening this season for all intents and purposes. Uh, so we, I am currently on the Schlitterbahn Kansas City website, and when you go to their, uh, when you go to the Schlitterbahn website, they still have all the parks there. When you click on Kansas City and go to plan, and then go to interactive schedule, all it says is please check back. Yeah. So so, uh, so they had no they plans in opening night, uh, and there were also news stories uh, earlier on in May and in late April uh, about that area's politicians talking about how they did not expect it to open. Uh, so, but this kind of came out of left field, this whole sale. And I, I think the interesting thing here is not so much that Schlitterbahn sold because it is a big name, especially in Texas, especially in the water park world. Schlitterbahn is still, uh, you know, still wins golden tickets for best water park, uh, you know, almost every year. Uh, but the fact that Cedar Fair came in and purchased it, and it's interesting for a number of reasons. One, Cedar Fair unloaded a lot of their, water parks, uh, their standalone water parks in California uh, to kind of finance the whole Hotel Breakers expansion. Um, and two, Cedar Fair doesn't have much of a presence in Texas. So I don't foresee this leading to anything else besides them just running these two water parks in Texas. Yeah, that's the thing here. And there, there's, a, there's a lot of things at play here. Um, and there's Everyone's been talking about what could be or what should be or what shouldn't be and what can't be. And I think the, honestly, I think what's going to happen is that nothing's going to happen here, right? Um, I, I don't know that this is going to change a whole heck of a lot. Um, you know, when, when this news first came out, I kind of said to you, is this, you know, I don't think this is what Six Flags did with Frontier City, Darien Lake, and a couple of the water parks where they're actually going to put some money into those parks, right? Um, I don't think this is even that. I think this is, I think this is really Cedar Fair just buying two parks that make a good amount of money. I think that's maybe why they didn't pick up the Kansas City one. Um, maybe they have the option in there, so if they want to buy it and raise it, you you had brought up that idea um, for what six million dollars. I mean, it's yeah. it's not that high of a price tag. They could maybe make use of some of those slides or scrap them or sell them or whatever, because obviously that park's not open. Um, so, and like you said, some of the other ones, uh, the uh, Corpus Christi ones, owned by a different group. Uh, so, you know, there's a little bit of a loophole, you know, a little bit of a, a, a hurdle there to get over. So they buy the two, the New Braunfels and the Galveston Island, which tend, which seem to be the most successful ones, seem to be making the most money from uh, a, a lot of the things that we see in here. And this really may just be them taking two successful parks and taking a little bit off the top. And I think it's, I think for now, it's not going to be much more than that. Well, and, and, and we looked at, you know, I spent some time uh, with one Daniel Westfall the other night and we looked at maps of these two parks and, and New Braunfels, which is the, which is really the crown jewel of this deal. 
Uh, it comes with a resort as well. They have hotel rooms. Uh, some of them are, are priced just like hotel breakers, you know, 200, 300 bucks a night, all the way up to seven, $800 a night. Um, for some of the, the lofts and the nicer rooms. Um, so, so they get the resort as well. And you know, Cedar Fair is all about the resorts right now, all about the hotel rooms. But if you look at both of these properties, there's not a whole lot of room to expand. You know, I, I kind of I kind of compared New Braun Falls, uh, the way that the park is situated, it's kind of landlocked a lot like Knott's Berry Farm is, that there's residential neighborhoods a few blocks away. Um, the actual park is built uh, snakes alongside of a golf course. And I don't foresee that golf course being purchased or going away um, mm -hmm. because there's other houses on the golf course that people live on the country club or whatever. Um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know the specifics of New Braun Falls. I'm not going to pretend like I do, but just by looking at the map, it does not look like there is any room there to build anything other than water park stuff. Uh, you know, there's, it looks like there's room to build, expand inside the park, but expanding outside the park does not look like much of an opportunity there. Uh, when we talk about, are they going to build a theme park onto it? Absolutely not. Galveston, much the same. There's actually a bigger water park complex down the block with an indoor water park, an aquarium, an outdoor water park. Uh, so Galveston, and there's an airport right behind it. So once again, there's a little bit more room in Galveston to maybe expand. Uh, depending on what they control and what they don't control. But once again, I do not foresee any dry area, roller coasters, flat rides, going into either of these two parks is at all. So I, I think that leads us right back to what you said, that these are two profitable parks that they've done well in the past. They have a nice collection of rides. Uh, Galveston is much smaller than, than New Braun Falls. But like I said, New Braun Falls is the crown jewel here, and I think that's where Cedar Fair is going to try and make their money. Um, I, I just don't see this signaling any other moves in Texas. I think everyone is always talking about Cedar Fair trying to get a park in Texas. Um, I, I don't see it happening, Danny. Like, they're not buying Six Flags. You know, they're not buying Over Texas or Fiesta Texas, despite all the rumors of Hershen buying those. Yeah. Uh, you know, SeaWorld San Antonio is expanding. I don't foresee them buying that. So the only other option is to start a park brand new and build ground up. And, and that seems like a really tall order in the year 2019 to have to go through and do that with the, the rising steel costs because of the tariffs with construction costs, the way that they are. I just don't see any parks building a brand new park outside of like Orlando where universal is always rumored to build a, a fourth gate. But we still haven't even seen that happen. One of the biggest companies in the world hasn't started on a fourth gate. I just don't see Cedar Fair doing it. Well, and some of the new parks that we've seen spring up over the last several years have not done well. I mean, Hard Rock Park, you know, crashed well, and burned. It's, it's almost two decades ago now. Yeah, I, I mean that. I, I mean that 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 park crashed and burned very very quickly. Um, Owa is a new one, but they're very small. And reports yeah. are that you know every time I hear someone going there, they say it's dead. So who knows how, you know how how long that is. Um, you know, aside from FECs and some small places, uh, there's not a lot of big theme parks or big amusement parks that have been, uh, you know popping up here in the last two decades or so um really since islands of adventure turned up yeah um that's that's one of the last big major theme parks to open and and that was that was 20 years ago here i mean let, let's just do a google search right I mean, to um, be honest with you they came in you know islands of adventure opened up they had to build it on the cheap, apparently, since they had so much metal fatigue all over the place. Well, <laughs> well, that's the thing here, right? Um, I mean, if we go to, if you look at, um, let's let's see. Uh, I mean, they're building a Lego Land here in New York for this coming year. Um, so yeah, that, that's probably the biggest thing. But that's, but, but you're also talking that's got about, a big name. That's got that's a, a big, big name. It's and well, also you have that 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 American Mall thing. Uh, that well, the American Dream is one that's on here as well. So you, you've got that going on, but that again is attached to a mall. That's 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 not. Uh, and you're talking about the largest metropolitan area in the country. You're talking about New York City that you're drawing from there. So yeah. of course you're going to get people through the gate. Like Texas, I think Texas would be a great place to buy a, to build a park or to buy a park. 
I, you just look at the, the problems Grand Texas has been having. Grand Texas has been, you know, finally they're building a water park outside of Houston. They had the RV thing. It's been taking them years to get to this position. I, so I, I, see so I, I did a search here on RCDB for amusement parks, and I sorted them by most recently open. So you have Legoland New York, Nickelodeon Universe. A lot of them on here. So uh, let me – I don't want Mexico and whatnot in here. So let me, let me sort to just the United States here, okay? And we'll actually go through – a few are most of these are mountain coasters to be completely yeah, honest with you. parks they're just mountain wilderness coasters. run alpine coaster georgia mountain yeah. coaster rocky top you have the park at oa here rowdy bear branson coaster anakista it's just um, a small investment FD, for an upcharge like power play entertainment center we went there we got the credit there we did we um did. america's fun park in branson missouri opened last year and they closed later on that year it was a they're, parking lot danny it wasn't even a park it was a parking lot uh, Galveston the Historic Pleasure Pier, really tiny. Um, There's nothing. So, so, t so the idea that Miracle Strip re reopened in 2010 in Panama City Beach and then closed in 2015. Freestyle Music Park, uh, Wild West World. This is my favorite one. Coaster Radio talked about this uh, way back when in Valley Center, Kansas. Opened May 5th, 2007 and closed July 8th, 2007. They were open for two months. Two well, months. A lot can happen in two months. Uh, what's, I, I just want to go back to the last big one that was uh, Western Playland still around. Adventure Park USA is still around, but those are little. Um, I'm, I'm trying to go back to the last bit. California Adventure. Well, Disney. Disney. Like, Disney. Come on. Like... like like, um, Legoland, California, Islands of Adventure, uh, Glenwood Caverns, uh, Alabama Splash Adventure. Uh, you don't get full credit for that because you no. were closed for yeah. uh, Blue Bayou Dixie Land, and that's a park I've been to. They opened in two thousand one, but I don't. I don't count them as a big park. I mean, then you're going back to like the Animal Kingdoms in the late nineties. I mean, yeah. when Disney and Universal were building their stuff. I mean, these big, the big parks have not been built for many, many years. Like, and that's the thing is, is I, I don't see Cedar Fair going down that road of building a park. Would they buy a park? But there's no real parks to buy in Texas outside of those three big ones that I mentioned. Like the closest one is New Orleans, but they're not going to buy that that place that place uh, unless 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 they're unless SeaWorld is really considering getting rid of some of those parks. Uh, or or the over Texas rumor was true. Like there's. But, but the problem is, is New Braunfels is closer to San Antonio. So Fiesta, there's no talk of that selling at all. I don't see that ever selling out of Six Flags. Well, and, and you would wonder if Six Flags would even dare to sell a park to Cedar Fair. No, like, it seems like, why would you want them in your market? Like, they're probably already like, uh-oh. Uh, but I, you know, I, I just don't, I think you're right when you say, I don't see a whole lot changing. It, you know, people are like, oh, is this going to add to the Platinum Pass? I don't think there's a whole lot of people there traveling down to Texas to go to Schlitterbahn who have platinum passes. And I don't think, I don't think it's vice versa either. I don't see a whole lot of Texans buying a platinum pass to start traveling all over the place. Like, I, I just don't, this is, this is a purchase for profit that these are profitable parks. Cedar fair is going to sit in there. Now the, the bigger concern is will Cedar fair change the way they operate? Because supposedly they have free parking, they allow coolers that you can bring whatever you want inside the park. Yeah, but that's gonna that's gonna be more interesting to see what happens uh, when Cedar Fair actually takes over, and if if they're gonna change those policies that might drive some people away, that might hurt the bottom line, or are they gonna institute new policies to make people you know show up more? So I I really don't know what's going to happen here, but I think it's exciting that Cedar Fair bought two new parks, getting back into the water park game. I don't think there's a whole lot of meaning here. I don't think that there's a whole lot more coming after this. There's really not more coming in this case, <laughs> unless they're going to start RMCing water slides. I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Probably not. Uh, but I, I don't foresee a whole lot extra coming out of this besides Maybe Cedar Fair is in the market to buy more places too. So maybe not in Texas. I'm talking about all over the place. I'm talking maybe we have to start. We know Six Flags was was buying stuff up. Maybe Cedar Fair is in that same market now where they're like, hey, let's try to find places that we can make money on 
and we're going to buy those places. So I, I think that's what we have. Well, and that's probably another show altogether because you and I have some ideas as to what some of those parks might be. Yeah. Um, I, I think there's three or four candidates that initially stick out right away. Um, but I, I mean, maybe that's, maybe that's a different show entirely. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, we will keep you updated on when we find out what's exactly going to happen with Schlitterbahn. The deal has not closed yet. The deal will close in the next month or so here. Uh, so we'll see if there's in, you know, until, until the ink is dry, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, but it sure seems like Cedar Fair is going to get these two wonderful uh, water parks here. Yeah. Uh, it'll be exciting to see what they do with them and what that means for other places as well. Uh, so as always, I am Andrew Barczyk from Chicago, Illinois. And I'm Danny Miller from Binghamton, New York. Right on, Ride Warriors. See you next time, guys. <laughs>